Threatened with eviction during the pandemic, two Alameda County renters say they have been harassed for months by their landlord, all in hopes that they would leave. Tenant attorneys say this is not uncommon and has been happening even with an eviction moratorium still in place. New at 10 tonight, investigative reporter Brooks Jarose joins us now with a look at how protections can vary and why some tenants are still getting kicked out. Brooks. Well, the state eviction moratorium was aimed at preventing homelessness and financial suffering. It expired at the beginning of the month and in many counties next month, landlords can sue for back rent. But in places like Alameda County, Oakland and Berkeley, bans are still in place. No one can be thrown out for unpaid rent, but it hasn't stopped some landlords from trying. Under lock and key for fear of getting kicked out, renters Wilson Wise and his partner DJ are packed and prepared. We've just been having everything in boxes so our stuff's not just thrown out on the street. Because this year, during the COVID-19 pandemic, their landlord has delivered several eviction notices, among other things. Constant harassment with emails late at night, threats to come and get our stuff with just people he's hired to pull us out. I mean, we called the police barricaded our own door at night, uh, got cameras. It escalated following what tenants say was a water leak and this mold found early this year inside their apartment near Hayward. For months it went unfixed until they say they began withholding rent in April in hopes of paying for repairs themselves. The landlord did make some fixes, but also more attempts to kick them out, claiming he wanted to repair the property for future sale. You have three days to get out. You have 60 days to get out. You have 30 days. So it was like we didn't even know what day we needed to be out. So they hired a lawyer and threatened a lawsuit. We have people reaching out to us all the time with stories like this. So I believe this is happening and it's happening a lot. And Tamiko Omura is the executive director of the Eviction Defense Center. She considers these notices unlawful, especially with some local eviction bans still in place. The laws are only as good as enforcement, right? And if these landlords try to take these eviction cases to court, then as lawyers we can step in and we can stop them and judges can stop them. The problem is this is all happening outside of court. The threats, the notices that never see the light of day but may actually scare someone into moving. Oh, it scared the crap out of me. I've never had somebody actively threaten. It seemed to me like to break into our home. Yeah. We just want to get your side of the story. They say you're harassing them. I just tell you really? that's not the truth. I asked them to get out back in, you know, February. We found mold. We stopped by to chat with landlord Greg Hall at his home. He claims the homeowners association caused repair delays and that he too is undergoing financial hardship. They stopped paying me rent really last May. If they started paying your rent again, would they I be won't able? accept it because basically they've been noticed. We want them out. The place needs a lot of work. State law says landlords cannot evict unless they've applied for California's rent relief program. In Alameda County, evictions are still illegal for unpaid rent unless there's a threat to health or safety or if the owner wants to put the property on the market. I can kick them out because we're going to sell the property. That may be true, but it would require the landlord give proper notice, inform the tenants of their rights, and provide relocation money. None of that has happened. It's not my job to assist. I'm not a family member. You know, it's not my job to do it. Call the agency that'll help. Wise says he's unemployed and applied for rent relief this month, all while dealing with no flooring and other apartment issues. Why not just leave? Where would we go? I, I could sleep on my mom's couch. They know where to go. They're just milking this. Right now, the couple says they want to find a new place, but are financially strapped. We're trapped here. This was a safe place. It was almost a paradise, and now it's our living nightmare. While their landlord says they're squatting, the tenants argue they've put up with poor conditions and bullying. Unfortunately, that's really common right now because landlords can't get into court. So what they are relying on is a lot of harassment to get people out. It's, it's not legal. Um, and clearly, when we get involved, we would ask that it stop instantly and that these tenants be left alone. So you say you weren't threatening them in any way? Well, I, I you know, they may have taken it as a threat. But the fact is, this is how the process works. 
And I said, why don't you leave voluntarily? It is not okay to do this to people. It's just not okay. Those tenants have sued, claiming in part retaliation and negligence. Many landlords say the moratorium leaves them stuck with no rental income for bills or mortgages. They too can apply for relief funding, but we've learned in many cases both sides are still waiting for money, only straining landlord-tenant relationships. In the studio, I'm Brooks Jarose, KTVU Fox 2 News.